Okay. Okay, so no tripod today. I accidentally forgot it. So I'm kind of mounted on the freaking treadmill, as you can see. So let's hope that goes well. This is an experiment. Never have I been on the treadmill and talked before. So hopefully it's not too loud. Actually, no, the mic's right here. It wouldn't be too loud because the camera's there. Without all of that being said, welcome back, guys. Uh, freaking electrified to be back for a few reasons. One, as you can see in the background, if you have been watching this channel well before it started to blow up, this is an OG location, man. Now, back in my hometown, I'm home from college. This is my OG gym, and it gets me freaking absolutely electrified to be back here. Uh, it's currently around, I don't know, I think 7 p.m. I already lifted this morning, and the reason I haven't been posting the reason I didn't even record this morning is the gym, the other gym I go to here, uh, they don't really, they're not too fond of recording, so I'm not gonna push it, you know, maybe once in a while. But this gym, obviously, being an Anytime Fitness, you can come in when it's quiet, quiet hours, as you see, there's not many people here, and record without interrupting other people's workouts, you know? Because obviously, as I've always talked about on this channel, I respect, Try to respect everyone in the gym with the recording thing. Sometimes people accidentally like walk in the background or walk in front. It is what it is. Um, but I'm always gonna try to set up an angle that doesn't show up other people working out because you know they don't want to be recorded and I respect it. I'm not gonna be a dick and be like, oh I have the YouTube channel, I can record whenever I want. That's not what I'm trying to do here, and that's not the example I'm trying to set. So I just want to make that clear. So obviously I haven't posted a workout in a while. So we're freaking back. Let's go. Uh, welcome to Corn Calisthenics Day. I already hit back and, and shoulder this morning. I've been getting freaking, getting really jacked lately. Now that I'm back home, it's been almost a week now. I've been eating strictly eggs, beef, cooked vegetables. So, you know, obviously I'm gonna make a video soon on daily vlog on what I'm eating. Probably just implement it into tomorrow's video, believe it or not. Well, you have to find out tomorrow. But, yeah, so we're here, walking on the treadmill. 12.5 um, incline, three miles an hour. Do that for 10 minutes, that's half a mile. You burn roughly 100 calories, just like that. This is one of the biggest cheats, I think, to um, cutting, or trying to lose calories without losing muscle. I think this is one of the best ways to do it. Yeah, quiet gym. Um, we're gonna do some hanging leg raise decline crunches, maybe the ab wheel, some oblique things or whatever that's called when you get a wage you're going side to side, and you, whatever that's called. Um, maybe, maybe just maybe do some muscle ups at the end. I did muscle ups yesterday um, and then I did pull ups today. So I don't know how that would go, but I feel really good. My diet's been really clean so my face I don't know if the camera can see, acne starting to go away. Who would have thought? You clean up your diet, all of a sudden the acne goes away. Oh, I would have never guessed. <laughs> so yeah, obviously I had some acne breakouts um, because I ate some pizza. I can't have dairy, so I had to deal with that for a little bit. So I was like, oh, whatever, you know. And I hadn't had dairy for a good while, so I was like, Whatever, I'm gonna have a pretzel crust pizza from freaking Little Caesars. It wasn't that good to, that it caused the acne and I felt sick for the next few days. It wasn't worth it. Um, also, quick update, when are we at? Four minutes, whatever. Quick update before we go into the workout. One sip review, go watch that in my YouTube shorts section. Electric reviews, you guys will love it. Been posting those daily. Okay, wait. No, my can't. I think my head's been in this entire frame, so I can't really tell, but if it isn't, well, screw it. Hopefully, you guys are not bored by now. I'm just glad to be back and, and recording. But yeah, pretty much you're gonna see this gym background. This gym I'm gonna be at pretty much all summer. Maybe a few times we'll record at the other gym when it's more quiet. It just gets too packed in there. But yeah, other than that, we're gonna go into the workout. Oh yeah, go to my shorts watch the one sip reviews because I'm gonna be posting a tier list on all of them I've drank so far ranking the best energy drink so stay tuned for that and we will go get into corn calisthenics I guess that one here let me get this mic going 
Oof, yeah, a lot of pull-ups have been done on this. Let me tell you. Okay, so set one, hanging leg raise, but we're gonna really emphasize hold. We're gonna hold like in an L at the top and then go down. So, I don't know, maybe eight reps I think is manageable here, especially if we're going slow like this. I usually do 12, but it's usually pretty quick. Controlled, but quick. We're gonna go really controlled today and really focus on a great squeeze and get some freaking abs. Let's do it. Two, three, four, five. We're gonna hold. Oh, not bad. You see, I mean, this is interesting. What the f is that two? Try to go a little slower. It's kind of hard, so I'm gonna try my best to go as slow as possible. Ooh. Pretty much figured out. Yeah, it's almost, I'm not at the level where I can go up and hold for more than like a second, man. I can, but then I'm kind of swinging back and forth and I'm not really getting a full ab stretch. What I could do actually is go to this thing, this ball, have more control and go up, hold down like that. It's a little easier. Cause then I'm not rocking back and forth. It's a little imbalance, but we'll go do another set. All right, here we go. <laughs> it's kind of hard without the tripod to get the camera angles going. So we're going with an experimental low, low shot here of the last set of hanging leg race. <laughs> Good squeeze at the end. Hell yeah. All right, let's move. I'm gonna do just two quick sets of this, just for some more control, some more stability, and some more hold on the going up. Let's, let's get into it. I'm talking like a jack wagon. <sighs> All right, a yeah, great squeeze. Next set, that too. I, I kind of like using the ball because you get more control. I think you get a better squeeze, but I think hanging leg raise is better overall because then you got to add in balance and it's just a little bit harder too. But this is gonna be, I think this is a good supplement to it. I think it goes well with it. Um, but I think you do need to do hanging leg raise too. Especially on abs. Ooh, my. Ooh. Hell yeah. I think we're gonna do a little bit of the ab wheel next. I think that's next. But here's the thing with the ab wheel. I've always kind of had a love and hate relationship for the ab wheel. I, I've, sometimes I've thought it's awesome. Other times I thought it was kind of useless. I've now come to the conclusion that it's pretty solid. So I think it's essential for any type of ab building exercise. I also do enjoy it. Um, I kind of do it a little bit different than most. Like, so a lot of people will go down like this and then just go up and stop. I don't do it like that because then, I don't know, I don't feel it as much. What I will do is I go like this, fully up, and then right back down like this. So we can keep that tension the entire time. <coughs> Oh man, that's a burner. Wow. But yeah, we'll do two more of that. But that's kind of just how I've always done it. I find more, there's more tension the entire time if you just, just go and go instead of coming all the way back up resting and then going again. It's all about getting a stretch too. And then your back, you like, you wanna keep it as straight as freaking possible. You, well, you wanna be squeezing your abs the entire time. That's the key. So when you go down, boom, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze up. Man, the veins are going nuts. Yeah, let's get to the second set. <laughs> set two, we're going up the low angle now. This is electric. All right, let's get another good 10. Hold up. I don't want to sound like a P word, but my knees hurt <laughs> from the turf. So I'm going to get a little mat that rests my knees on. <laughs> All right, now let's go to work. All right. Wow. All right, well, switch the angle up. Maybe this is a little better. I don't know. Let's go last set here of the ab wheel. Not bad, not bad. I think we need at least two more workouts here. I don't know, we'll figure it out. But let's just go do probably decline decline crunch next. We'll play it by ear. Merch. All right, so next up, freaking decline crunches. I think these are fantastic. And the reason I think they're so good is everyone's always like, hey, I got the top four abs and whatnot. Well, what about the bottom two? Well, these are gonna absolutely burn those. These are gonna absolutely work those as long as you focus on a great squeeze. Um, let's just kind of break it down. I'm gonna show you guys how to do it. Cause these are now my favorite ab workout in general. So when you lay down, you're kind of laying flat, right? Ooh, hopefully the mic picks this up. So you're laying flat, right? What, the first start of the motion is like a little crunch like this. So you crunch like that, then you go up, back, flat, up, boom. 
or you can just stay there the entire time. If you want to keep guys in tension, I wouldn't do that. I don't know where to put my hands. I don't want to hit the mic. But yeah, you get the point. That's pretty good. All right, we're going to do three in total, so two more. Second set here, the decline abs. Come on. Oh, hell yeah. All right, one more of that, and I think we're going to call it a freaking day. All right, last freaking set. Let's do it. The abs are actually burning, I'm not gonna lie. But once again, you guys already know you gotta lower your body fat. If you wanna see your abs, you can't spot reduce fat, but you can always work your abs to make them a little stronger like any other muscle. Everyone has abs, it's just about lowering your body fat and then doing workouts to make them, I guess, pop more, I guess. I, that's how to explain it, but let's just quit talking and do it. All right, about to wrap up with another walk on the treadmill. That's pretty much all for today's episode. Thank you guys for watching. I'll catch you guys tomorrow and we'll actually lift some freaking weights. Um, I'm also going to show you the diet, what I eat throughout the day and whatnot. A lot of meat, pause. <laughs> but if you guys made it to the end, thank you so much for watching. Hit the like, subscribe. It was good to post again. Sorry, it's been a while, guys. I've been in the move out process, got back to my home state. And now we're back, so hopefully we can get consistent again. I'm going to try my hardest. Um, once again, go watch the one sip reviews in my YouTube shorts section. I'm going to make a tier list on my favorite energy drinks and rank them, and we're going to find out which one's the best. So thank you guys so much for watching. Hit the like, subscribe. Keep going. A lot of work to do. Keep going.